U.com, a search engine company based in San Francisco, announced the release of UChat 2.0 today, a revolutionary new multimodal conversational AI system that is expected to elevate the experience of conducting an online search to entirely new heights. This version represents a big advancement in online search and provides a look at how information and the internet may interact with us in the future. UChat 2.0 is the first online search to integrate cutting-edge conversational AI with user-created applications, providing a distinctive and engaging experience with each search. UChat 2.0 may respond to user questions with charts, photos, videos, tables, graphs, text, or code inserted thanks to its large language model referred to as CAL, chats, apps, and links. As a result, there will be fewer open tabs and less time spent away from your search engine. U.com's co-founder and CEO, Richard Socher, said, We already have 150-plus apps in our main search results page, but we're now pulling more into the chat world and into this chat interface, which is non-trivial because you basically have to allow the chat model to decide when it is best to answer a question by just showing you the facts. No one has done this yet. We're the first to launch it to the world publicly. Socher is well-versed in cutting-edge developments in natural language processing, the technology that powers all widely used search engines. Socher is presently the fourth most cited researcher in the discipline, according to Google Scholar. Socher has made his career on groundbreaking NLP applications as a former chief scientist and EVP at Salesforce and a former adjunct professor at Stanford's computer science department. He now believes that it is time to rethink how we use conventional search engines. Google has done incredible research and propelled the field forward in many dimensions in terms of its research, but they are making $150 billion a year by invading your privacy and showing you ads on a search results page, Socha said, appearing visibly frustrated with the current state of affairs. So when you develop technology, that would work great if, instead of six ads, you had one ad, but if it means you lose $500 million a day, you're probably not incentivized to launch that new technology into the world. It's the classic innovator's dilemma, he added. Google is very good at running things not profitably for a long time, like maps and YouTube, and then pulling ads into it. The problem is this particular technology changes their core product. Just one week ago, Microsoft released a significant update to its Bing search engine that included the integration of the much-discussed ChatGPT. This week, U.com announced their multimodal conversational AI in search. In a similar vein, Google unveiled Bard last week, a chat service that seems to be the company's response to conversational models like ChatGPT. At least one thing is now crystal clear. The excitement around conversational AI is at its highest point. Microsoft has less to lose than Google, and it's making money in other areas that could help support their AI efforts, said Socher. They have also announced plans to launch a new text-only chat interface, similar to ChatGPT, which is what U.com launched last year. UChat 2.0, an upgrade to the current UChat gateway that went live in December, improves the online search experience in a number of significant ways. First, search results now have integrated generative AI apps that let users write text, code, and produce graphics from within the search results. The second feature of UChat 2.0 is its rich visual experience, which combines the power of conversation with dynamic content and up-to-date news from applications like Reddit, TikTok, Stack Overflow, Wikipedia, and more. Last but not least, the system offers consumers reliable information and sources, establishing a degree of confidence and dependability that is sometimes missing from traditional search engines. U.com is making efforts to make its conversational search more trustworthy and reliable despite some ongoing language model bias concerns. The business welcomes app developers to contribute their creations to an open platform so they may collaborate on building the perfect chat search do engine. The developers page on u.com has extra information for developers. We see that users are looking for more than just links, said Socher in a statement. They are searching for solutions to their problems. We've designed uChat 2.0 to be the ultimate search tool that empowers users to accomplish more, better, and faster. With its advanced generative AI capabilities, uChat 2.0 evolves traditional search engine functions while giving users greater control over their information diet and privacy. UChat is now accessible and handles roughly 1 million queries every day, giving consumers seeking information and answers online a new degree of flexibility and convenience. I'd advise you to check it out if you're interested in the direction the internet is taking, and let me know of your thoughts after you used it.